Welcome back to STS. In today's video, we're going to use prime factorization to find the GCF and LCM of two uh, numbers. Let's say that our numbers are 12 and the other number is 20. So we're going to list two factors of 12. Let's use 4 and 3 and then two factors of 4, which is 2 and 2. So here I've just completed the prime factorization of the number 12 and that's where I'm saying 2 to the second power times 3 is the same thing as 12. Let's continue the process with the number 20 and let's use 5 times 4 and then for 4 we're going to use 2 times 2. 5 is prime, these 2's are prime so another way of, set, of stating 20 by, its, by using its prime factors would be 2 to the second times 5. All right, now to find the GCF for us to get the GCF we have to list the factors that are in common and we see that the only factor in common would be a factor with a base of 2 and then we have to look to see which one of these um, fact I'm sorry which one of these factors has the uh, smallest exponent we see the two exponents are the same at 2 so that means we're just going to use 2 so here we say that, so here we see that the greatest common factor between 12 and 20 is uh, 4 and now let's move on to the uh, LCM all right with the LCM we're looking for all the factors and we're not we don't care if they repeat if they're in common or not so here we see that they have a factor of 2 that appears in both a factor of 3 that appears in both I'm sorry a factor of 3 that appears in just one of them and a factor of 5 that also appears in just one of them once we have those factors listed we're looking for the factor uh, for each individual factor we want its highest uh, exponent so here with the 2, again, they're both to the second power, so I'm going to keep the 2. It's only 1, 3. It's understood to be to the first power, which is what we have here. And we have a 5, again, which is understood to be to the first power. So as we break this down, 2 to the second is 4, times 3 to the first, which is 3, times 5 to the first, which is 5. 4 times 3 gives us 12. We rewrite our 5, and then we see 12 times 5 is 60. So here we see that our GCF is 4 and our LCM is 60. All right, let's take a look at one more example. Let's say we're using the numbers 108. As a matter of fact, let's change colors to show that these are separate. Let's go to like this purplish color here, 108. And the other number is, let's say, 64. For 108, I know that can be divided by 2 because it's an even number. Um, half of 100 is 50, and then half of 8 is 4. So I've got 50 plus 4 to give me 54. I know 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle that. And we'll do the same process again. 52, I'm sorry, 54 is even, so I'm going to take half of it. So half of 50 is 25, and then half of that 4 is 2. So I have 25 plus 2 to give me 27. Again, the 2 is prime, so I can stop there with that 2. To get 27, I know that's 9 times 3. Well, this 3 is prime there. And to get 9, that's the same as 3 times 3. So to state this using its uh, prime factors would be 2 to the second times 3 to the third. Now we're going to move over to 64. Well, 64 is the same thing as 8 times 8. And we know 8 can be rewritten as 4 times 2. And again, I repeat that. These 2's are prime, so I circle them. And then the factors of 4 are 2 times 2. And again, I repeat that because I have two fours here. All right, when I look to see how many prime factors I have, I know I have a base of two. And I need to count up to know how many uh, to find to get the power. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two to the sixth power is the same thing as 64. Now, to find the GCF. With the GCF, I need to find the factors that are in common, the bases that are in common. So I have a base of two that's in common here and here. Notice I only have a base of 3 here. I don't have anything else here. So the greatest common factor is going to have a base of 2. Now I need to find the exponent that's the smallest for that base of 2. And that smaller one would be also a 2. So the greatest common factor for these two numbers is 2 to the second or 4. Now to find the LCM, I need to list all of the bases that uh, these two numbers have, all of the prime uh, bases. So they have a prime base of 2 
and we also have a prime base of 3. Now I need to find the largest exponent for each one of those bases. Well, the largest exponent for the base of 2 would be 6. And since 3 is the only, um, is the only uh, prime uh, factor between the both, I'm going to use the power of 3 here. All right, and we just said that 2 to the 6 is 64. And then 3 to the 3rd is 27. And when you pull out the calculator and multiply that out, you'll see that there is 1,728. All right, so that sums up this video by Spell of Tutorial Services, where we've used prime factorization method to find the GCF and LCM of two numbers. As always, thank you for watching.